Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and in today's video I'm going to be showing off our 2022 season pairings, uh, talking about some of the locks we got and just some things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and let's jump in, let's start showing off uh, some of the male snakes. Alright, so to start I'm going to pull out the four males that we're using this year and then as I pull out the females I'll tell you which males they've locked with and things like that. So let's go ahead and get the first male. Alright, here's the first male and this is our... Um, Currently, he's our best male because he's our male who's locked with the most females. So hopefully he's going to be the dad to most of our clutches this year. Um, this is Snipe. He's a pastel cypress yellow belly. A really, really pretty snake. Um, and really, like, cypress is an awesome gene. Yellow belly is an awesome gene. Um, pastel's cool, but I'm hoping to get some cypress babies. You know, some darker snaked babies and things like that. So... That's the first male, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull out the other three. Alright, here is the male that we bought right before the season started, who I had big plans for. Uh, this is just a desert ghost male. Um, no other genes in him, just straight up desert ghost. Uh, bought him as a proven breeder. He's yet to lock. Um, he's eating well. He's about 1,300 grams or so. Really not sure why he's not uh, locking up. He just needs some time to figure it out, and that's okay. So, uh, just kind of goes to show, you know, if you buy something and you're planning on it, uh, it's a, it was a good lesson for me to buy something and go, all right, here we go, it's going to work. And then when it doesn't work, you're like, oh, great, okay. So, and it's fine. I think he'll figure it out eventually. He's shown some signs that he might be figuring it out, but it's just taking some time. All right, this right here is a male that we just got, a little male, uh, a Mojave male. Um, so, once again, nothing crazy about him. He was given to us. Um, he's already locked up one time uh, with one of our females, and I'll show you her when she gets out. Um, Really, the goal with him would mainly just be to make some uh, Blue Eye Lucy's or some Blue Eye Lucy makers, I guess, you know, just some Mojave something babies. Um, don't know if he'll really be in the collection long term. He's just a good uh, filler male for right now, just until we kind of get some uh, males grown up or, you know, produce some on our own and hold them back. Okay, so here is the fourth and final male. Now this male is on uh, breeder loan. Uh, he's not actually ours. So uh, what he is, is he's just a straight up pied. You know, nothing else in him, nothing crazy. He's got a really nice uh, little emoji on him there. I love that. Um, he is mainly going to be paired to some of our het pied and possible het pied stuff. Uh, just hoping to prove it out. Um, we'll see he's had a lock already, so we've had, we have three males who are lock, locking currently. Um, so hopefully, you know, the odds play out in our favor and maybe we prove something out, so we'll see. Uh, here's our first female going this year. It's just a big inchy girl. We did pair her last year. She laid, uh, four slugs. So, you know, hopefully, uh, this year she figures it out maybe and lay some good eggs. Uh, she's been paired to the Desert Ghost. Um, was obviously hoping for some inchy Desert Ghost stuff, but haven't seen any confirmed locks. She has locked with the Mojave male. So if we could get some Mojave inchy, or just some more inchies, or just some more Mojaves, that'd be totally fine too. So, uh, currently that's who she is paired with. Um, I don't know if I'll pair her with anybody else this year. I might leave her with the Mojave. And we'll just kind of see what happens if she can uh, get it done. All right, and this big mama's in shed, so I will not have her out long, and she's usually a little irritable as well. Um, so this is our big Mojave girl here. Um, now I have her. She's locked one time with the pastel cypress yellow belly. Um, I will likely also be pairing her to the Mojave male just to try to get some blue eyed Lucy's. Um, we'll see though. She is looking really good. She's putting on some size again. Uh, she laid 10 eggs for us last year. All of them were beautiful, healthy eggs, and then they ended up dying within uh, 14 days of being laid. And it, I don't know if it was a first-time male issue or what, what it was, first-time mom issue. No clue. Um, we'll see, though. Hopefully this year, you know, even if we just get a couple less eggs, she figures it out and we get some healthier eggs. So we're going to keep locking her up for a while. Uh, she didn't lay till June. 
She still got some time. She just started repairing, uh, and she just started actually showing signs again. She's getting real thick and um, bowl wrapping and things like that. So hopefully she's a go. Okay, this right here is our banana firefly. And so far she has been with our desert ghost boy. And she's been with the pastel cypress yellow belly, only locking one time so far with the pastel cypress yellow belly. Um, there's, you know, with this pairing specifically, there are so many, um, you know, genetic combinations that you could hit. If I had to uh, pick one that I would hit, I guess I would just want a um, banana cypress yellow belly, maybe. Uh, maybe a fire in there too, we'll see. All right, and then we have our banana super Mojave, who... She has locked um, three times this year so far. Um, now she's locked two times with the Cypress Pastel Yellow Belly, which, you know, on this one you would want some Banana Mojave Cypress, uh, Banana Mojave Yellow Belly, or just even Cypress Mojave Yellow Belly. That'd be really cool. Uh, you know, even throw some pastel in there. You can't go wrong. Um, but she did uh, recently actually lock with our uh, breeder male, <clears throat> our lone breeder male, the uh, Pied Boy. So um, if we get a bunch of Mojaves, if we just get a bunch of Mojaves and we know that that's the dad is probably the Pied Boy or the Pied Boy. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't think that that one will be too difficult to figure out who the daddy is just because there's so many genetics with the one male, so I'm really not too worried about it. Uh, I was going to pair her to the Mojave, but I'm not going to do that because... Well, I guess I could, but then I'd have to bank on getting like one Blue-Eyed Lucy to know if I... who the male is. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm kind of debating on that still. So, Banana Super Mojave, couple locks, couple good signs, crushing food again. So... Really hoping she goes for us this year. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything, comment them down below. And until next time, guys, stay safe and stay positive.